Event Integrated Studio, here to help you overcome the fear or the feeling that you're not good enough. Be sure to watch this video to the end. I have a lot to say about this, and some of it may really resonate with you and be just what you need to get you moving in the life of your dreams. Now, we've all come into the sphere that we're not good enough. Now, maybe it's an expression of imposter syndrome, where you feel like you're going to be called out as a fraud or a phony. Maybe you feel unqualified to do something. Maybe it's a self-sabotaging mindset, where even though you want good things for yourself, some part of you is constantly pulling yourself down, whether it's acting through procrastination or perfectionism, but something that you're doing to your best effort is picking it apart and unraveling it. So then you feel like you're not good enough. These things can happen to anybody. So be sure to look at my other videos and my channel and how you can overcome these sabotaging practices. Now, maybe you feel like you're not good enough because you're sizing yourself up to other people. Now, I have been a theater artist for 30 years and I've been an actor and I've been a director. And I know that as an actor, my head was always comparing myself to other people, always holding myself up against all these imagined standards of what was the right way to be or the right way to look or the right way to do something. It was a horrible way to live. But then when I became a director, I genuinely wanted every single person who walked in that door to do their best because I was pulling for all of them. And it's when I had that experience that I realized that's how life is. I genuinely believe that the people who give you opportunities to show yourself truly want you to be yourself and do your best work. So you are always good enough if you are presented with the opportunity. So that is number one. Number two, we have what's called a suffering quotient. And the suffering quotient is like a glass ceiling that we have placed above ourselves that keeps us within a status quo. And this status quo is limiting how much joy, how much wealth, how much health, how much of a growth we feel in some way in our mind we are capable of taking on in our lifetime. In some way we are holding ourselves back because we feel like we have to stay in a certain level, certain status quo within a standard of living that we've had. Once you recognize that, you can choose to stay in that status quo and say, you know what, I'm good. Or if you know that you want to become clear, you want to become more productive and you want to become influential in your work and take on great things and do great things, you've got to surpass that glass ceiling. And the first step is in knowing that when that fear of not being good enough comes up for you, it's just a device working to keep you back in that status quo. So you've got to say to it, I hear you fear of not being good enough. Go ahead and give it a name if you want to, but call it out. Say, but I'm going to do this anyway. You always have a choice. Think of it as um, a card spread. You can either play the cards you're dealt with, you can hold your cards, you can fold. You've always got a choice. So that's number two is a suffering quotient. But number three, if you have a fear that you're not good enough, you have to get clear on what your path looks like for you. What do you want to do with your life? What do you want to be in your life is the better question. How do you want to feel? What opportunities and what kinds of people do you want gravitating toward you because of how you show up in your life? So if you show up in your life in a way that is action-oriented, purposeful, and ready to share the gifts that you have, and everybody has gifts, and you're ready to share them so that you can be of service to people and give this gift to the world, well, you've just got to step into the light and you've just got to do it. Because here's my final thought that I want to share with you. Elizabeth Gilbert writes in Big Magic that big ideas come to us because we are the ones who are meant to be like the midwife bringing them into the world. You got that great opportunity. You got that great idea because you are the one who's meant to bring it into the world. Now, the longer we sit with it, that great idea will say, okay, I don't know if you're ready for this because you're holding on to this. It will leave you and go to someone else. 
Anyone who is a writer will know what this feels like because you'll have a great idea for your book. You'll start to write it. Maybe you'll feel intimidated by the process. You sit with it. But then when you finally sit down to write it again, it's lost. All your mojo is gone with it. I've experienced that. So know that if you get the idea, if you get the great opportunity, if you have this wonderful thing before you that you have a fear that you're not good enough for, you've got to challenge that fear right in the face and say, no, if this is before me, it is for me. And you've got to move forward purposefully to live the life of your dreams. All right, leave a comment below on how this resonates with you. Give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel where you can get more tips and more how to's for becoming clear, productive, and influential.